Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Greeny Gamester back with another gameplay of Conan Exiles 3.0 Age of Sorcery. And this is going to be a short little video on showing you my new build in the volcano. Yeah, I did go back and kill the boss in here. Uh, someone commented that if you walk out of the scene and go back, uh, sometimes he will respawn in. And if you're a single player, if you, if you just go to Ghost, uh, wait a minute and then go back out he will spawn I did the just went out of the scene killed a few you know enemies down the path there to the left came back and sure enough he was there so I have let's see if I can show it to you here I have the uh, shining trapezohendron I think I, think I said it right <laughs> yeah that's a mouthful that word but I did get that from him, so we are all set. We have all of our artifacts now to uh, take off our bracelet, if we so choose. So, uh, yeah, but I wanted to show you why I chose this area. First of all, there's a lot of resources here. If we go look on this side, all those little red plants that you can see are a source of wood. See that little creepy crawler worm right there? Well, he spawns in every now and again. He's not always there, but when he does, if you kill him, he gives you abysmal flesh. Yeah, which is hard to come by. So this will be a great spot to little farm that little guy. And then you can see there are some uh, thralls here. Some are station thralls, others are fighters and archers. We have good supply of those. I'll probably put a wheel of pain right in here somewhere. Or even, I'm close enough to my base where I really could because I do plan on building this base out way out to here yeah I, I want to make this really really big I want to make this the biggest base I've ever done because I am having a blast with this new storm glass set yeah I'm no architect so <laughs> I, I'm a little clumsy on how to use them but I'm just having so much fun so down this area there is a lot of obsidian down this way yeah so let's go take a look at what's there We'll just jump on old Stratos here. And one of the first things I have to do is build a well here. Yeah, I run out of water. So this is quite pretty in here. I was tempted, but see all that obsidian over there to my right, down over the bank next to that tree. Yeah, if I built there, those would disappear. I don't want that. I'm going to keep this as a like a mining operation down here. I might put a building in with a forge maybe to... Well, a forge is not going to do me any good because you can't do anything with that. Um, you have to make the obsidian at the forge here. The composite bars anyway. Uh, but a good place to collect and maybe uh, make it appear that it's a mining area. There is also a lot of golden lotus here. Now when I say a lot, I mean, uh, more so than anywhere else in the volcano so far that I have found. See, there's two over there. There are some up here that I probably rode past already. Um, but we can cross over here. And right over there, you can see that path going behind that tree. That is actually this, the hidden way. And this will take you out right behind the black keep. So this is exactly what it says. It's a hidden way in here. And um, yeah, good way to get some obsidian. I have never, ever explored this part of the volcano. Now, don't ask me why. <laughs> I've played hours and hours of this game, but never went on this side of the volcano for some reason. And I missed all these resources because you can see there are three more of the golden lotus and you know if you just hunt around in between these rocks and so forth you find even more but as you can see there are some great spots to build here yeah this is a, a really fun fun area and that whole pool right there could be something in and of itself if you didn't care about uh, getting the obsidian but like I said I may do that I may make a pool around that forego some of that obsidian.
So this is the beginning of my build. You can stop following me now there. Stratos. This bridge was naturally here. I was thinking about building around it, but I ran into an issue. So as you can see, I needed three blocks for this gate, three foundations, and they fit perfectly in between what was naturally here. But as you can see, if I get down to this end of the bridge, this is not, no. This one is a little bit short here. So it looks a little odd, but um, I've decided I'm going to have to live with it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I might put a statue there or something on both sides of these to kind of, yeah, take your eye off it. But mine actually goes right to it. But these huge pillars in the new set are just, they're awesome. They're awesome. They feel a whole foundation. Yeah. I don't know if I can show you that or not. No, it doesn't quite, you can't quite see it there. Then I built this little building. Now, I don't know if I'm going to add to this or I like the way this is. I'm not totally in love with it, but it's just the empty little building. I will probably put some workstations in here. Got this grand old tree. Absolutely love this tree in my courtyard. Yeah. And then this will take you down a path that will take you to the Well of Skellos. And as you can see, I've built bridges and you can do that now. They do allow you to do that. That is just awesome. So if you get into any place now where uh, you can't get across, which I couldn't hear, and there's another golden lotus, by the way. Um, yeah, you can build across it now and I'm loving it. Just absolutely loving it. Now this dumps out where you come in at the dragon mouth, that path. And I, and I, in that video, I showed you the statue and the stairways that we couldn't get to. So what I ended up doing, I don't know if we can see it here, maybe up here. And we see it. No, we're not going to see it. And I'm not going to run all the way down there, but I did build a bridge across uh, the path from the dragon mouth. Yeah. So that, that turned out well. Another good reason. Uh, this is a, a good, good spot. Again, that just goes, leads down to uh, an area. I might build a tower here, even though there's a thing of obsidian there. I don't think I mind losing that one piece. But this is a tower. I haven't finished the tops of any of these yet. Uh, this, these building pieces are two or one whole block wide so this is of course just a tower that's all this is going to be I love these alcove pieces they're just there's something else they're fun and then we have we can look out over that this I did finish on the inside I'm going to get myself out of the way here but yeah, this is my tribute to Conan in here. Yeah. Love these pieces to build with. Aren't they something? <laughs> yeah, these alcove pieces are uh, phenomenal. Yeah, so you can make these little alcoves to set statues in, etc., etc., And they're just very, very pretty. This floor, as you can see, I can look right down into the flowing lava. These ceiling pieces are, are obviously glass. So that's really, really nice. Yeah. Get a better view of it there. Yeah. And then of course, I do intend to build more here. There is going to be a second floor to this. And, uh, I need to work on that some more. The only issue I've got here is that this tree is <laughs> is going to spill into a room here. So I may put my bed here and kind of have those branches over <laughs> over my bed. Yeah, why not? <laughs> but one of the biggest reasons I decided to build here, and this is all um, 
natural. This was here to start. Was this over here? And there we go. And where we spill out is awesome. We are right next to the Frost Forge. Yeah, this is incredible. There's some black ice over there. We have uh, the rams for resources. And just over this bank over here and down below is the Frost Forge. Yeah, I know I can teleport and all that, but this makes it so easy. Yeah, so, so easy. If you don't teleport and you can't right away, um, I heard, what we got here? I, I heard, I thought I heard a saber. Now, sometimes there is a mammoth here that spawns in. I uh, haven't explored much here, but we will be going up around that way to see what else is here. But I'm pretty excited, pretty excited about this area. I did have to set this back a little bit because when I spawned back in here, sometimes I would spawn into the stairs. I had them this way and I got stuck. So I said, well, I got to move these back a little bit. Um, but before anybody has kittens or get your knickers in a twist, uh, I am a single player. So building here does not um, prevent anyone from using this. Yeah, it's only me here, guys. It's all mine. So yeah, this is my beginning build here, and I plan to make it the biggest build I've ever done because it's it's just an awesome, awesome place, and the storm glass set is proving to be enormous fun because there is just so much you can do with it, and I've got a lot to learn, like I said, because I'm not that great of a builder to begin with, but uh, I will learn with these pieces how to use them. So, too much fun. Well, Alright guys, if you liked, give me that big old like, and if you would like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, GG out.